Ten Thumbs Music Production, teaching you everything you need to know to make the music that you want to make. Alright everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today is a special tutorial because it's the first tutorial. We're mixing some live footage with some DAW footage, alright? So let's check it out. We're going to be looking at how to assign knobs to specific parameters within reason. Don't let the technical speak scare you. Basically, we're putting those little knobby thingies to do cool stuff that we would like because it's awesome. That's the general idea. So you got your new MIDI controller. Now this can be a keyboard, this can be a pad control, this can be anything you want. And you got your cool knobs or your keys. And you're able to do some cool things, right? But, what about these knobs? Well, for a lot of us, they're not doing much or they're only doing one thing. This particular knob in the pad control is assigned to pitch. Take a listen. But there's so much more than that. There's so much more we can do. So let's take a look how to change the parameters of this knob to do whatever we want. All right? Okay, first let's take a look here in recent. I have this little techno loop with this techno lead playing, all right? And the techno lead is polysynth and it has a low and a high note playing. So it sounds like this. Really, really basic, all right? Well, my this is running through an antidote, and I also have side chain compression, and I'm also using the Maelstrom as an audio host with audio input to create a low pass filter. Now I have another video on how to use Maelstrom as a low pass filter, and another video on how to do side chain compression. If these are new topics to you, if they're confusing, or you wanna get more in depth, check those out. You help me out, I help you out. Scratch my back, I scratch yours, we all win. All right, now, if I'm hooked up here to the Maelstrom, my pad control you can hear is playing the bass. But my knobs are only moving the pitch. Cool, but I want to get more creative with that. Well, what I can do is assign these knobs to anything I want. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to control click or right click on the frequency knob of filter B and click on edit remote override mapping. Under control surface, you will see no override mapping. We are going to click click Korg other MIDI keyboard no controls this is my pad control all your MIDI will be right here click now the control is where we choose which is going to affect so I'm going to choose pitch bend wheel so the same knob that was bending the pitch is now going to bend the frequency so let's take a look at this frequency right here okay all right Very, very cool. Well, let's take a look at how this sounds in live performance. Alright, that's pretty cool in itself, alright? You can see that you're going to have to play with it. Some things sound better than other, but that's really cool. But I can also control click, I'm sorry, alt click, and now it's being automated, alright? So now watch what happens when I hit control and move this knob. Or hit record and hit the knob, I'm sorry, ready? OK, 
Okay, now, when I hit stop and I hit play, take a listen and take a look. And our automation has been saved as MIDI data. All right? So you can use these knobs to really get a feel for automation and really tweak some sounds within reason at live time. It's, it's much more comfortable than drawing them in. Just like when you play the piano, as opposed to drawing in the keys, you're going to get a much real, more fluid sound. If you can do your effects with your knobs and paint them in like this, you're going to get a much more fluid and interesting results. All right? And just like anything in reason, this, for example, I can copy and paste for other frequencies. Now, I have no available parameters, all right? But if I want to match this with my other frequency, Alt-click, and I can Alt-click, and it will match and bend together. That's pretty cool stuff, all right? So, this works with pad control, this works with Oxygen 49, this works with anything that's got these little knobs on there you can twist, all right? Just control, click the knob, and edit override mapping. All right, my friends, Reason users, GarageBand users, whatever DAW you can use, go out there, enjoy it, make some music. I want to hear it, looking forward to your video responses, and as always, Love, peace, and chicken grease. Be easy, my friends, and I will catch you on the flip side. Ta-ta! Ten Thumbs Music Production. Teaching you everything you need to know to make the music that you want to make.